Uh, it was Logan Nyson and uh, Colton Caron, two members of the Independence State Championship team. First of all, guys, let's start with you, Logan. Uh, just your feelings. It's been a week now since you uh, won it on, on Wheeling Island. Uh, it didn't really set in until, like, I'd say Sunday morning when uh, I woke up. I really, it really hit me that we were state champs. And uh, it's really special, not just for the team, but it's really special for the community and stuff. Uh, it brings me a lot of pride that we can say that we brought one back to Coal City. And uh, i just like to thank all the coaches and stuff for helping us get there. Cole, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, it's the amazing feeling to be able to bring this to the community and the school. It's just, it's just great to do what we did. Have you, you guys are both wrestlers. Have you guys been back to practice? I mean, when did you start with that? Uh, I started Monday. Uh, I started Monday morning, on Thursday. Same? Yeah. They're ready to go. Yeah. When you guys be eligible this weekend or, or next, you know? Uh, we're going to wrestle next week. Yeah. Uh, on the state championship, when did you guys think that this was possible? And I, I think I might have asked you about this loading before you went up there. When did you get the feeling that this team really was special, could get back to the island, not, on, not only get back, but win it? Uh, I, I'd say, a long, yeah. uh, like, I'd say even before the first scrimmage, before we played Hoover on that scrimmage, uh, I knew that we, this is a special group of kids and that we had a real shot at this thing. Yeah, same thing? Yeah, same exact thing. Like last year, coming off the island, we kind of knew he's returning a lot. We had a big, good chance to come back. What, what was that like for you guys walking off the island last year? And how did that play into this year and getting back? Because it's not an easy game to get to in the first place, but to go twice and then, you know, finish it this time. It was it was very special because uh, I know how bad it hurt last year uh, coming off the island with empty handed. Uh, so I thought that drove us a lot to get back there and seal the deal. You talked a little bit about it meant a lot to you to bring this back to the community. What has the community done to like recognize you guys since uh, winning the championship? Um, they're, they're always there. They're always, always. like always like. During the season, like there was games where it was pouring the rain, cold, and our stands were still packed. They were all, and like they traveled. Like we went to Polka, the stands were filled. Uh, Wyoming East, the stands were filled. Like they always traveled with us, and that was really special. Well, you blocked for two, uh, one Kennedy Award winner, possibly two now. Um, with Judah, and you know he was a record setter. Um, I know you said during the season, you probably think about it a little bit more, uh, those records and what you guys did offensively uh, after the season ended. It's over. Have you really sat down and thought about all the numbers that you, got piled, you guys piled up and the, the accolades? Some of these guys you blocked for got over the last two years. Yeah, I was sitting on the couch and my dad was talking about it, uh, some of the stats that Judah and Atticus put up, and that's when it really set in that, that we paved the way for that. And it, it's just... It's really cool knowing that me and my line could could do that for two, not just one person, but two people. And Cole, I think the uh, independent linebacker or the uh, rod receivers rather were some of the better blocking receivers. I know Atticus said that the line did a great job, but even downfield, the, the wide receivers block. When you block, you had a guy like Judah this year. What was it like blocking for him when you got a chance? It was pretty quick. I mean, yeah. on the 94-yard run in the state championship, he didn't need a whole lot. He got to hit the crease and was gone. But what was it like doing that as a, as a receiver? Well, if I could get out there to block before he was already broke away, I mean, it's really – it was an easy job just kind of turn him in or turn him out. He just read it off me. So – I mean, it's nice knowing that maybe if me or Cyrus don't lay down the best blocks, he still can get big, get big yards. Logan, two-time All-State player yourself, and you look back at your career, um, you've been pretty, it's been a pretty decorated career. What, um, I know the state championship you'll take away, but what other, what other memories will stay with you? Uh, I'd say the two All-States and uh, – uh, me and, me and Brady Grimmett, we won the Loop Press Offensive Lineman of the Year. We got co-award last year. I managed to get it myself this year. Uh, Coach Lee was telling me that I only let up one sack in three years. That's pretty special. Uh, Colton, what kind of memories are there for you right now? Um, you know, I 
know, just like all the stuff we've done, it's just awesome for what we've accomplished and uh, yeah, just everything we've done is just real memorable. Which coach is easier for you guys to kind of do a voice of? Any, do you guys do any coaching impressions? Uh, I don't really know who I can. I, I don't know. That's a hard one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who they're all. They all have very distinctive voices and stuff. It, it's, it's hard to. You don't do a grog? Me and money grog? No, I don't do a grog. That's a hard one to do. He's got a, He's got that Wyoming County twang to it. <laughs> Thank you guys, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys, one more question. You guys, the thing that marked out the season for you guys, not just perfect season, but the way you really dominated the other teams, you just made it look easy. What what would you say was the toughest challenge that the team faced this season? Uh, i say a little, we had a little bit of people getting banged up and stuff. I'd say staying healthy was a, was a little bit of a challenge because yeah, – 13 games, that's a long season. Uh, and we, we started this in June, so we've been we've been going for a long time and just keeping our bodies healthy. I'd say that was a hard, that was one of the hardest challenges and keeping our minds right. I can back them up and say the same thing. It's just it's rough, long season. So. What's next? Uh, hopefully, we right. oh, a wrestling state title. Uh, titles by ourselves and a team title would be nice.